What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time it is going to be some Train Kaiju vs. Herald of Perfection games, or Herald Angels as I personally like to call the deck because, obviously, it's Herald of Perfection as the deck, and then it has Cyber Angels in it, thus giving you that name. Uh, it just seems, you know, seems to be rather uh, sensible in terms of naming things goes. But I'm going to be piloting Train Kaiju. This is a deck that I want to uh, try out. It's kind of oriented towards Blinding Second uh, for the most part, simply because there's such a large Kaiju uh, engine in it of like 10 cards, which actually could possibly just get bigger um, as time goes on. Uh, there could be Maxis and Veilers in this deck instead of a lot of these traps. Uh, but honestly, I just I've I've kind of liked the way the deck is tested so far because you're able to break boards and then establish with Psalm Strike. Uh, this deck does a lot with a few cards. Um, ergo because you have things like the field spell along with like interrupted kaiju slumber which forms plays because you get uh you get um the uh, star destroying kaiju on your side of the board and that just further fuels your rank 10 plays uh the entire extra deck is just entirely rank 10s um honestly i just think this is probably the better build because of the fact that like it just allows you to go second blind um and then it uh allows you to like not play as many like combo oriented cards like the volcanics and the shadals um, it's just more straight to the business uh, point and aspect, which is something I really appreciate about the deck and what I really like about the train cards. So the Kaiju just seem like a good fit. Like I said, um, if you guys have any suggestions for this deck, definitely leave them in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. I think the first thing that I might change is literally taking out these Solemns for like 2 Maxi, 2 Valor, um, just to orient it more towards going second, because that just seems to be the way that this deck is meant to be played because of the fact that one, Kaijus, they want to go second because of the Kaiju cards, and two, I mean, like, having the extra card alongside having very simple interactions with the train cards as well as board wipes in the form of Pain Gainer um, just seem to be really, really strong. So there is all of that. Now, this video is going to be done a little bit differently and uh, the ones in the past. I'm actually doing replays. I've literally, like, basically just gone straight over to Lithium style of how he films and uh, commentates just because, like, I feel like it's the better style. Like, I don't like having to speed the footage up to, like, incredible, like, incredible amounts faster than what it was played because you do start missing information at that point because things start going by really quickly whereas with the replay function on dev pro and Yu-Gi-Oh pro you actually get a nice like perfectly spaced out like card playing thing and like the, i can appreciate why that's good um and it's one of the reasons why i like lithium's like content i just i feel like the replays go way too fast for me to effectively commentate over but only time will tell if i can adjust to it because i could probably just slow those down as well i could probably slow them down to like uh, like 75% speed and actually like keep them uh, most mostly intact for what they are But let me know what you guys think about this uh, style of video uh, Basically literally just using lithium's formula for uh, how he makes videos in terms of like a format and like it sucks I've avoided doing that for a long time uh, But ultimately I think that's probably just the best way to go to ensure better content growth in the future of this channel So I don't know let me know what you guys think about that and this deck build in the comments down below But other than that, let's just jump into the first game. Sorry for the long intro. Alright, so going into the first game, my opponent gets to go first. He did actually win Rock, Paper, Scissors and choose to go first, but that doesn't really matter because when I win Rock, Paper, Scissors with this deck, I choose to blind second because of the sheer number of Kaijus in this deck. But regardless, he has a very strong opener with pre-prep into Ritual Sanctuary and then immediately summoning a Herald of Perfection using Cyber Angel Benton as the material, being able to add it back to his hand, and then resolving Stick Chair. So like ultimately, just started out very, very strong, go Stick Chair into Pot of Desires, and I pause the replay and I look at the uh, banish pile every time someone does. Uh, every time someone does pot of desires, I always try to do this, um, and I'm going to try and do it in the future. But ultimately, didn't banish anything too problematic. Just some, you know, one ofs of three ofs. This deck has tons of three ofs in it, and ultimately, you're just able to, you know, play desires very effectively in the deck. But overlays his scepter and two sovereignties for evil swarm Ouroboros, and ends up taking terraforming out of my hand. Now I was completely fine with him taking any card but terraforming but he ends up hitting it. Like, if he had taken any other card in my hand, I could have had a different combination of plays to allow that field spell to be good, drop a kaiju over his herald, and actually, you know, make a rank 10, and then utilize an in-phase search and, you know, be in a very good position. But ultimately, he does hit the terraforming. I draw a Solemn Strike, which could be good, uh, drop my kaiju over his herald, and especially some of my own, some of my Night Express Knight, and go into Pain Gainer into 7 cents. Now, Pain Gainer isn't big enough to blow up anything on his board, so that's unfortunate, but he is able to uh, protect with him of Light anyway, even if... Uh, even if that was something that I was capable of doing. But I just end my turn with seven sins attacking over his uh, Ouroboros because that would immediately bounce seven sins. So I just attack over that, set strike, and then try to protect my board because next turn, if I protect seven sins, then I'm capable of, you know, just 
you know, attacking over Herald, and then from there, banishing everything and, you know, being in a decent position. But he's capable of outing it twice, you know, going a rank 4 Castell, which I negate off strike, and then making a rank 6 Tolmias M7, or not Tolmias, Tolmy M7, and then trying to bounce it, which is successful, and then he just attacks me, and I don't have any follow-up. But next game, I choose to go second, as per usual. He goes uh, with a very kind of weak opening, summoning a chair and specialing another chair, and that chair draws in Pot of Desires, which then activates, banishes nothing of real, actual, like, necessary value. Like, again, there's tons of three of's in this deck. And then that got him into, you know, Ritual Sanctuary and a capable play to summon Herald. Now, it's still very underwhelming, but he did end his turn with two negations and a Manju. So, depending on what my hand is capable of doing, he could very well just end my turn with the two negations. And then he's got Ritual Sanctuary as well, but fortunately my hand is decent enough to play through his negations. I just throw Terraformings at the Herald, he negates both of them. Um, based off the cards he discarded, I expected him to not have any more negations, because those were the only two fairies I knew that he had. Um, and then the rest of the cards just didn't seem to do anything last turn. And so I'm just able to go Knights Rest Knight with Derek Crane into Pain Gainer, blow up his chairs, pop his Ritual Sanctuary, then make Seven Sins attack over the Herald, and then set Skill Drain and pass my turn. So get a quick little game in there in game two. Now game three, he goes first again, because again, he likes to go first, I like to go second, so he's going first every game this uh, thing, because I just I want to drop Kaijus over Herald of Perfection and actually do things with trains. That's what I want to do with my deck. But, so he's able to drop Sephira and Herald and then go stick chair, a really strong opener, uh, just amazing, like taking a card out of my hand and then being able to draw cards off Sephira, um, like he's guaranteed three negations, he's got Hymn of Light, like, he has so many different things available to him. Now, I make a slight mistake activating the terraforming. Um, I kind of miscounted my cards. Uh, I should have definitely just kept the terraforming and just dropped the kaiju over his uh, herald first. For some reason, I thought it was, like, going to be beneficial to me to bait negations, but instead it just made it to where, like, he could play Saphir in the in-phase for free, even though I did get rid of his herald and his board in the form of the, uh, in the form of the Ouroboros. He still had the Saphir and it still triggered. So if I'd kept the terraforming, I could have, you know, activated Revolving Switchyard, dropped my kaiju over his, in that, in not that order, drop the kaiju, play Revolving Switchyard, summon my, um, summon my thing, and then, uh, be capable of, uh, just doing things, and keeping the strike, that's the main thing, being able to keep the Solemn Strike would have been very valuable, but, he's able to reestablish on his turn with the Utopia Lightning and another Herald of Perfection, and he has five negations in his hand, he has so many ways to negate my one card that I'm drawing for turn, and, even so, I'm just thinking in my head, if I draw Knight Express Knight, then I'm capable of actually just possibly winning this game. Because if I draw Knight Express Knight, I'm at such a difference life point wise with my opponent that I can summon Knight Express Knight, the field spell will trigger, he can't negate any of this. And I'll summon Ruffian Railcar out of the deck, I'll overlay into uh, the Tarantula, and the Tarantula will be at like 3100 because he's at 7000, I'm at 39, so there's a 3100 difference there, which I can then use to attack over Herald. And then, you know, do some things there. I think he ended up shuffling back Hymn of Light off of, like, Ritual Sanctuary at some point. So I don't think it's in the graveyard. It could be in the graveyard. Um, can't remember. Don't remember specifically. But ultimately, um, like, I just couldn't do anything that last turn because of the fact that, like, he has five negations. The Herald of Perfection deck is really strong and really consistent at doing things like that. Just opening and putting Herald of Perfection on the board and then establishing lots of negation fodder in your hand. The deck is a lot more fluid now than it has ever been in the past. As well as, like, the deck is better in terms of Herald is at its best that it's ever been because Herald of Perfection used to be really garbage back in the day when it came out in, like, 2010, 2011 because every deck had really powerful, like, one-card plays that it could do. Like, Plants had Debris Dragon plays and all that where it wasn't, like, investing tons of cards and it could still keep playing. And then the Herald deck itself wasn't that aggressive because it didn't have things like Stick and Chair to actually, like, keep things moving. So there was a lot of time for people to actually recorrect themselves in their game states and actually play around Herald. Now, everything is very combo and sequence based, and if you negate the first cards in the sequence, very few decks can actually still keep playing after that. It effectively ends their turn, and then the deck, the Herald deck is very aggressive on its second turn, so it's very capable of just killing you outright. So, honestly, the deck is at its best that it has ever been, um, and like the only outs to this card in the game right now, in the form of Herald of Perfection, the only outs to that card are things like Kaijus, and like that's it. Like Super Poly's banned, so we don't have that as an out. Um, there's all these different things. Like Solemn Strike is another out, but like that requires you to set it and wait a turn, which you might just be dead. There's multiple different factors that, you know, just over, overall just jump into why Herald of Perfection is a really good deck right now, and it's one of the things that I plan to play sometime in the future, uh, both at Locals and some more on this channel, and 
all sorts of nonsense, maybe even at a regional. Like, this deck is really, really cool. Me and my opponent in this video have been working on builds for a while because we just, we really like how the deck functions. It's very fluid, as we've already said. But anyway, that's it for this video. Rambled on a little bit after the uh, last game ended. Sorry that it had to be done in replay format, but if you guys like that because it gets more content, like, into the video in a shorter amount of time, let me know. I mean, it is very lithium format, unfortunately. Uh, I don't just want to outright just, like, steal his format. Uh, but I do think it is a very good format because it, again, allows you to pack a lot of content into a small space. So there is that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to background music playlists and Facebook page links if you want to go check those out. Do whatever you want to do with those. Go for it if you want to suggest a deck or a matchup to be played, either any specific deck or a matchup, like, say, Metal Foes versus Yang Zings or something like that. Like, if you want to suggest those sorts of things, Leave them in the comments down below, and if it's something we're interested in, then we will definitely do that because we can control the matchups. Obviously, if you want to keep it meta-oriented, go for it. Um, that's going to be what we're trying to focus on. If you want to play non-meta decks versus meta decks, then that's something that we can also focus on as well because we were, we're pretty much open to play almost anything at this point. Uh, but other than that, that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching, as always, and as always, guys, take care.